Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Terreno Builder Spotlight. This is the Terreno Tober edition because we ran a contest for October to build terrifying Terreno. And uh, this came about kind of quickly on our Discord channel for Terreno. Uh, within a few hours, uh, it came up literally last minute, like I think it was in the first week of October. Uh, threw this all together at the last minute, but people still managed to make some really cool stuff. Uh, so thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your efforts. I love looking at everything you guys are doing. I, I watched the chats too when you guys were talking about what we were going to do. To those who didn't make it uh, in time, apologies. I, I, next year we will have more time to do this. Since this came about sort of at the last minute, there, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, the, it, it was what it was. Um, but uh, I'm going to announce the winner, and then I'm also going to give some honorable mentions to folks who did some cool things. Um, so without further ado, the winner is... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> kind of had to do that. <laughs> You, got, you can't blame me, right? I mean, I had to have a little bit of anticipation, and I'm sure people are excited to know who, who won and stuff. Okay, so here we go. The winner is Travis Searles. Uh, which probably won't come to, as a surprise to some of you since he is one of the most experienced and oldest Torino builders out there. And uh, he has been featured in the Builder Spotlight previously. So uh, congratulations to him. He made a very, very cool diorama. Uh, spooky trees, spooky. Yeah, just spooky and terrifying. Uh, he also did some neat lighting effects. A uh, tree with a skull. I, I loved his custom... Uh, Torino pieces that he made uh, for the outside walls. Uh, they look really, really cool. His use of toothpicks in there is, is kind of neat too. Um, but the thing that really caught my eye was probably a small detail that uh, most probably won't even notice, but the, the trees. He made these really, really simple trees and it looks like they're just two pieces of foam board uh, put together at uh, right angles to each other and then sort of inserted into the grid tile and I thought that was brilliant. Simple, brilliant and nice design. Um, Goblin, another entry into the Torino uh, Tober contest had made a swamp. He had done something similar and he had used more naturalistic looking trees which I thought were very cool too. I always look for things though that I can suggest to people to do that are that's relatively easy and has a good return on their time and I thought these trees that Travis made were really brilliant. Um, loved his tree with the light up skull. I thought that was really, really neat. He, he's got a lot of good, he's got a really great collection of scatter terrain. Um, I liked his little firewall, uh, flame wall there that also light, lit, lights up and his modular river, which I thought was brilliant. Um, so congratulations to him. I also did want to give a shout out to Jessica Kilgallen. She made uh, a Terreno ship and uh, I'm assuming it's hard to tell from the pictures, but I'm assuming it's, it, it's somewhat modular. And I, I also assume that if she had more time, there would have been an interior in there. Uh, but I think, you know, it, it looks great. Uh, it's very cool. I love the sails. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to Andrew Keenan. He uh, made this mansion and clearly he's been hustling because this is a lot of work. And uh, it looks great. And I absolutely love that roof. Um, and I also very much appreciate uh, the effort that went into putting some smoke effects around his video for his entry. So uh, props to you for that one. Um, and Travis, as the winner of this first annual Torino Topper, will be getting this cool black hoodie so he can uh, look all kind of mysterious. Uh, with uh, his entry on the front and uh, his name and some details. Uh, hopefully you like that, Travis. Um, I will get in touch with you about getting it to you. So yeah, that's it for Torino Toba this year. Um, thank you again for all the entries. I loved looking at them. I loved the innovation, and I love that you guys took Torino, made it your own. Um, so anyway, till next year, happy crafting.